Tonight, the Ohio Department of Health reporting 4,200 new COVID-19 cases. That's below the 21-day average. 217 new patients are getting treatment in Ohio hospitals. More than 50% of Ohioans are fully vaccinated against the virus. But ODH also says at this time, about 30% of pregnant women have taken the shot. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Kerry Charles. And so now Columbus Public Health is partnering with first responders to make getting the vaccine even more accessible. NBC4's Karina Chong tells us that the agencies are bringing back a popular and simple program. Karina. Well, Carrie, it's those drive through vaccine clinics. Now, Columbus Public Health says it's something that they had started at the very beginning of the vaccination process, and they're bringing it back, but at a smaller scale. It's not your typical drive through but Dr. Mashika Roberts says it's a key addition starting this Tuesday. We'll be offering COVID-19 vaccine that will include those who are starting their primary series, those who are eligible for a third dose, or those Pfizer um, recipients who want their booster um, vaccine. Station 10 firefighters and staff with CPH will operate the clinic Tuesdays from 9 to 4 on West Broad Street. On Cleveland Avenue, Station 18 will host hours on Thursdays. Dr. Roberts says the Celeste Center drive through had great turnout and worked well for the older population and folks with mobility issues. And some people just don't want to be indoors with a lot of people, even though um, everyone's wearing a mask. So a drive through clinic gives you that um, safety measure as well. These two particular stations were chosen for a reason, being able to withstand traffic and being off the main road, but also... Were they in a neighborhood that we felt like we really needed to cater to? And we had a large percentage of the population that needed easy access to the vaccine. In the city of Columbus, Dr. Roberts says vaccination coverage is in the 46 to 48 percent range. She says this is why these clinics are key and they plan to keep them going at least until the end of the year. But at this point in time, um, we are planning for the long haul and we will continue to offer these clinics at the health department, the three rec centers, as well as these two fire stations. And no appointment will, will be necessary to go through this drive through clinic. It's starting here Tuesday, the one right behind me here. Again, this is on top of the clinics that they're already hosting at those three community rec centers and their health department. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.